All right, so this video is going to be part four of our parametric and polar review. Okay, so this video will be doing conversions. We'll be focusing on our parametric conversion. So just eliminating the parameter, getting some, an equation back into y's and x's. We'll be doing our polar to Cartesian conversions and Cartesian to polar. And we'll start off here. So we have x equals cosine t, y equals sine t. We want to eliminate the parameter here. So I've done this back in, in past videos, okay, but really just, you know, you see a cosine, you see a sine, okay? How can we get these to, to you know, go away? Well, you can kind of see, you, you kind of think of cosine squared plus sine squared, right? By squaring each of these equations, you get x squared equals cosine squared t. And if you can actually put this right underneath here, you get y squared equals sine squared t. You add these up and you get x squared plus y squared equals cosine squared plus sine squared, which is one. And now that parameter has went away and you end up with x squared plus y squared equals one. So our next problem, we're going to have natural log of 2t. That's going to be our x equation. And we have y equal to 8t. Eliminate the parameter here. Well, you may be getting caught up with this natural log. And what I would say is, you know, just don't worry about that natural log yet. Okay, look at this. We have a 2t inside that natural log, and we have an 8t here. And you can obviously see how they're related, right? If we divide this by 4 on each side, we're going to get that y over 4 equals 2t. And now we have something to plug back into this equation. So divide by 4 here, divide by 4 here. As I said, y over 4 is going to equal 2t. And we plug that in. So we get that x is equal to the natural log of y over 4. And again, we have eliminated our parameter. Next, we have the equation y equals 2 plus 5x, and we want to convert this into a polar equation. Okay, well, all we need to know is that x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, in that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. If you know that, then you're golden, okay? Then it's pretty easy to solve this, okay? We get r sine theta is equal to two plus five, and times x, that's r cosine theta. All right, well, let's subtract five r cosine theta here. Subtract five r cosine theta here we get that r sine theta minus 5r cosine theta equals 2. All right? Now, we just take out that r, okay? And we're left with r times sine theta minus 5 cosine theta equals 2. And to get this as r as a function of theta, we just divide the sine theta minus 5 cosine theta. We end up with r equals 2 over sine theta minus 5 cosine theta. All right. Next, we have r equal to 7 sine theta, and we want to get this into a Cartesian equation. Okay, since we're not going to be able to do anything with this r here, because if we solved for r in one of these equations, we would end up with an x and, uh, or, you know, x or y and uh, something with a theta in it. So that's not going to work. And, well, with sine theta, if we solve for sine theta here, we're going to end up with something with an r in it. So, we can't do that. Now, what we can do is square both sides. Squaring both sides will get us an r squared, which we can do something with. And it'll also give us a 49 sine squared theta. And we'll need to figure out what to do with this sine squared theta. So, first off, r squared, that's x squared plus y squared. And that's going to equal 49 times what? Well, if we, you know, if we square this equation, we'll get a sine squared theta. Okay, so we'll get, just kind of manipulating this here, we get y squared equals r squared sine squared theta. So sine squared theta equals y squared over r squared. And we know that r squared is x squared plus y squared. So we can write this as y squared over x squared plus y squared. 
okay? We can multiply by x squared plus y squared on both sides to get that x squared plus y squared quantity squared equals 49y squared. Now, this looks like a total mess at this point. All we have to do is just take a square root. If we take a square root of both sides, we end up with x squared plus y squared equal to 7y. Subtract that 7y on both sides. And we get x squared plus y squared minus 7y equals 0. We can, we can do a little bit of completing the square here to get that x squared plus, this will be a y minus 7 over 2 squared. Okay, to complete the square, we're just going to divide this middle term by 2, right? This, this is the middle term because it has the uh, variable to a power of 1, right? So we divide this by 2 and we put it in the, uh, in the binomial that we have squared here, okay? And now what are we going to get on the outside here? Well, if we have a minus 7 halves squared, then we're going to get a... 49 over 4. Okay, we're going to get a 49 over 4 on the outside. We would need a negative 49 over 4 to counteract that. Okay, and if we just put that to the other side, we would end up with a 49 over 4 over here. Okay, so that's going to be the answer. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for parametric and polar in the next video in the series. See you soon.